friends. When I first read this story, which I want to bring to your attention today, I initially felt the feeling that arises when you watch a good thriller in which the main character sees how his familiar world begins to crumble before his eyes. What seemed indestructible to him before is turning into dust. And he, little by little, begins to doubt himself what he has always considered right and normal. Also in this story, the guy got a good one. See, listen up, subscribe and like, and most importantly, write what you think about what you heard. Hey there, I need to spill some things out and ask for advice because I'm really losing it. And before I start, yes, the title is as bizarre as it sounds. My wife, 28 and I, 30 have been happily married for 3 years. I thought we were perfectly fine and in love, but a few days ago, she dropped a bombshell on me. She confessed to having an affair, saying she still loves me but wants us to be in an open relationship. I was shattered and asked her to leave so I could process this. Fast forward to this morning, I got a visit from her parents, my in-laws. I've always had a good relationship with them and hoped they would back me up and help convince my wife that this wasn't fair to our marriage. Boy, was I in for a surprise. Her dad, a man I've always respected, started the conversation. He confessed to me that their marriage had been saved by agreeing to the same terms my wife was suggesting. They had entered into an open relationship years ago, and he said it had actually made their bond stronger. He told me that he wanted the same for us and that accepting this would be a sign of love and maturity. I was dumbfounded, still trying to process this when her mother chimed in. And her words, they were just, brutal. She outright told me that I wasn't satisfying her daughter's needs and that I was inadequate. She said I was being selfish and unloving by refusing to accept the new arrangement. Guys, I felt emasculated, betrayed, and confused. This isn't what I signed up for when I said, I do. I love my wife, but I can't just blindly accept infidelity. This isn't a lifestyle that I want, and it feels like an unfair and sudden burden that's been thrust upon me. I feel like my world has been turned upside down, and I'm being asked to celebrate it as if it's some great epiphany. Please, any advice would be much appreciated. How do I handle this situation? Do I agree to try this open relationship to save my marriage, or should I stick to my guns and risk the possibility of ending my marriage? Or is there any other way to resolve this issue? Brace yourselves for another unexpected twist, it involves my mother, and it's, not pretty. Today, I got a surprise visit from my mother, accompanied by my mother-in-law. They walked in, and I could feel an ominous atmosphere settle. My mother, usually a jovial and loving woman, had a stern expression. Son, she began, her tone firm yet gentle. We've been discussing your situation. Yeah, I've noticed, I replied, crossing my arms, what's your take, mom? She shared a glance with my mother-in-law, then sighed. I believe it might be best if you considered the arrangement your wife is suggesting. I was stunned. You're on their side? Why? Well, she paused, I've always been concerned that maybe you wouldn't be able to satisfy your wife due to your physical inadequacy. My mouth fell open. Here was my mother, the woman who raised me, echoing my mother-in-law's cruel words. I felt a rush of betrayal, sadness, and embarrassment. I asked them both to leave, needing some time alone. Feeling like my world was spinning, I called my father. We weren't the closest, but he'd always been straightforward and honest with me. I quickly explained the situation. Jesus, he grunted over the phone, your mother said that? I can't believe it, actually, I can. His words took me by surprise. What do you mean, dad? I'm not shocked she's supporting this. Your mother, she wasn't the most faithful wife herself. It's a big part of why we got divorced when you moved out. 
The revelations didn't stop. I felt like I was in a terrible dream. We need to talk, son, he continued, let's get together, meet with a lawyer, and figure out how to handle this. So, that's the next step. My dad and I are scheduled to meet with a lawyer. I'm scared, curt, and utterly confused. I'll update you after we've met with the lawyer. As always, any advice is welcomed. I won't lie, walking into that law office felt overwhelming. But having my father beside me was a comfort. We explained everything to the lawyer, from my wife's desire for an open marriage to the insensitivity of my in-laws and even my own mother's hurtful words. The lawyer, a composed and stern woman, listened attentively. She explained that while the legal landscape around open marriages was complex, there were certain things I needed to be clear about. Firstly, she emphasized that my consent was critical. Regardless of what anyone else says, you have the right to decide what you are comfortable with in your relationship, she stated firmly. Secondly, she made it clear that if we decided to divorce, my wife's infidelity could impact the outcome, depending on our state laws. She also touched upon asset division, alimony, and how any future infidelity could potentially affect these things. Finally, she suggested we consider couples therapy before making any drastic decisions. This was not a legal but a personal suggestion. She explained that therapy could provide a safe and mediated space for my wife and me to express our feelings and thoughts, and perhaps help us find a resolution. However I'm afraid it's far too late for couples therapy. I spoke with my wife an hour ago over the phone and her response was, well, exactly what you'd expect. Therapy won't change anything, she said coldly. I love you, but this is non-negotiable for me. You either accept it, or it happens without your approval. I was dumbstruck. The woman I had loved and married was standing in front of me, giving me an ultimatum that shook me to my core. In that moment, I felt something in me snap. With a heavy heart, I asked her for a divorce. To that, she just smirked and said, I'm not signing any divorce papers. We said for better or for worse, remember? I couldn't bear it any longer. I packed a bag and left our home, feeling more lost than I ever have in my life. I decided to move in temporarily with my father. The next twist in this saga? My mother showed up at my father's doorstep, berating him for supporting me and encouraging my stubbornness. She insisted that I should be more understanding and flexible in my marriage. That was the final straw. My patience and goodwill, already hanging by a thread, snapped completely. I confronted her and called her out for her hypocrisy and infidelity. You're nothing but a cheating whore, I spat out, the pent-up anger and betrayal pouring out. You have no right to preach about understanding and flexibility. She left in a huff, clearly shaken. I've never spoken to her like that before, but in that moment, it felt justified. So, here I am, living with my dad, unsure of my next step. My wife is refusing to divorce, my mother is unsupportive, and my world has been turned upside down. But I'm not giving up. I'm going to fight for my dignity, for my rights, and for my peace of mind. I'll update you as things progress. In the meantime, any advice or words of encouragement would be much appreciated. Also to the people saying my post is fake or some kind of creative writing project, thank you for your opinions but I'm not that creative if I was I doubt my wife would be cheating on me. Thank you if you listen to the end. Subscribe, like, comment. Bye.